The cost of everyday foods is skyrocketing, causing big worries for many families. It's not just a small increase. It's a huge jump. Imagine if the price of your favorite foods doubled in just one month. That's what's happening with eight common foods. And it's putting a lot of strain on people's wallets. Think about it when prices shoot up so suddenly. It's not just about figuring out where to tighten the budget. Things are having to make really tough decisions about what they can afford to eat. Meal planning becomes a real challenge when the foods you rely on become so expensive. And it's not like you can just switch to a cheaper brand or compromise on quality. When basic foods become unaffordable, there aren't always easy alternatives. This isn't just about saving a few dollars. It's about making sure families can put nutritious meals on the table. When the spike in prices has got everyone asking questions, what's causing this sudden surge? Is it something temporary or are there bigger issues at play? It's making us take a closer look at the whole food system that keeps our communities fed. But it's not just about money. When essential foods become like luxury items, it's not good for anyone's health or well-being. People worry about whether they'll be able to get the nutrients they need to stay healthy. So as we face this challenge, it's clear that we need to come together to find solutions. Because when it comes to something as basic as food, everyone deserves access to affordable, nutritious options. One. Uh, beef. Beef holds a special place in American culture and diets going beyond just being food. Um, it's intertwined with traditions like cookouts and dining experiences representing a whole lifestyle. Picture those uh, summer barbecues or family dinners where the centerpiece is often a juicy steak or a sizzling burger. Beef isn't just about filling our stomachs, it's about gathering together, sharing stories and enjoying moments with loved ones. But the journey of beef from the ranch to the restaurant isn't as simple as it may seem. It's a complex process involving many steps and facing numerous challenges along the way. Think about all the work that goes into raising cattle, then processing and distributing the meat. It's quite a journey. Now, add climate change into the mix and things get even trickier. Rising temperatures bring more heat stress to cattle, affecting their growth and overall health. When drops hit, it's not just the cattle that suffer. Um, there's a shortage of feed too, making it harder to keep them healthy and well-fed. Policy changes and tariffs also play a big role in shaping the beef industry. Uh, they can affect production costs and trade, which in turn uh, impacts the prices consumers see at the grocery store or on the menu at their favorite steakhouse. And when there are disruptions in the beef supply chain, whether due to weather, policy changes or other factors, it affects everyone from the ranchers to the consumers. Prices go up and suddenly that steak dinner or burger night becomes a lot more expensive for families across different income levels. All of these challenges make us stop and think, is beef worth it? Beyond just the cost, there's also the environmental impact to consider. As concerns about climate change grow, people might start looking for alternatives to beef like plant-based substitutes or other proteins. It's not just about what's on our plates. It's about the bigger picture and the future of our food choices. Two. Apples have always been a big part of American culture. Just think about all the ways we enjoy them, from classic apple pie to picking fresh apples at orchards with family and friends. They're not just a fruit. They're a symbol of tradition and community with orchards spread across the country. But the apple industry faces its fair share of challenges, especially when it comes to the weather. The climate can be unpredictable, bringing frosts, droughts, and other environmental factors that make it tough for apple trees to blossom and grow fruit. Imagine being a farmer, constantly worrying about whether your crop will survive the next storm or freeze. And it's not just the weather that apple growers have to deal with. Water shortages, managing pests, and navigating pesticide regulations add even more complications to the production process. It's a delicate balance trying to protect the crop while also being mindful of environmental and health concerns. Economic factors also come into play, like tariffs and international competition. When costs go up, it can destabilize apple farming, making it harder for growers to make ends meet. Sometimes this can lead to more imports or even the need for government subsidies to keep the industry afloat. All these challenges might mean changes in how we consume apples. We might see a resurgence of heritage apple varieties or shifts in the popularity of products like cider and juice. People might start paying more attention to where their apples come from and how they're grown, seeking out local and sustainable options. But no matter what changes happen, one thing is for sure. The apple will always have a special place in American dining and heritage. It's more than just a fruit. It's a part of who we are, connecting us to our roots in the land we call home. Three. Corn is a big deal in America. Not, it's not just something you eat. 
It's a major part of our agriculture and food culture. From corn on the cob at summer barbecues to the countless products made with corn ingredients, it's everywhere you look. Uh, but the corn industry faces a bunch of problems. First off, there are biological threats like pests and diseases that can wipe out entire crops. Imagine working hard all season only to have your corn destroyed by bugs or fungus. It's a real nightmare for farmers. Then there are environmental issues to worry about like soil erosion and managing water. Corn needs a lot of water and fertilizer to grow. And if something messes with those inputs, like prices going up or shortages happening, it can really mess with production. Speaking of production, there's this whole thing with biofuel policies. I see some of the corn we grow doesn't end up on our plates it goes into making fuel. So when policies change around how much corn goes to food versus fuel, it can affect both the price and availability of corn for eating. But it's not just what's happening here at home that it affects the corn industry. Global stuff matters too, like trade agreements and tariffs. These things can make it easier or harder for American farmers to sell their corn overseas, which has a big impact on their bottom line. And let's not forget the, the ongoing debate about GMOs and organic farming. Some people care a lot about whether their corn is genetically modified or grown without synthetic chemicals. This affects what kinds of corn products they buy and can even change how much corn farmers decide to grow. So yeah, corn has a lot going on. And with all these challenges, it's no wonder that the price of corn and the foods made from it could be going way up next month. It's not just about what's for dinner. It's about the whole system that brings corn from the farm to our forks for Soybeans might not get all the attention, but they're pretty important in America. Uh, you can find them in all sorts of things like tofu, vegetable oil, and even animal feed. They're like the hidden heroes of our food system. <laughs> but uh, the soybean industry faces some serious challenges. First off, there's the weather. Sometimes it's all over the place with storms and droughts messing up the soybean crops. And then there are pests and diseases that can attack the plants, making it harder for farmers to grow enough soybeans to meet demand. And speaking of demand, a big part of the soybean market depends on what's happening overseas. Countries like China buy a lot of our soybeans. So when there are issues with trade relations or tariffs, it can really shake things up. Farmers might end up with a surplus of soybeans they can't sell, which drives down prices and hurts their income. Um, now, let's talk about biotechnology. Some farmers use genetic modifications to make their soybeans produce more or resist pests better. But not everyone is on board with GMOs, which can cause controversy and make the market more complicated. Uh, some people want organic or non-GMO soybeans, which changes what farmers decide to grow and how they grow it. Looking ahead, the soybean industry might start moving towards more organic and non-GMO products. People are becoming more conscious about what they eat and how it's grown. So there's a growing demand for soybeans grown without synthetic chemicals or genetic modifications. And who knows, maybe we'll start looking into other legumes to fill the same roles as soybeans in our diets and agriculture. But even with all these challenges, soybeans aren't going anywhere. Uh, they're super versatile and adaptable. So even as the industry changes, they'll still be a big part of American agriculture. It's just a matter of figuring out how to navigate all the ups and downs that come with growing and selling soybeans. Fine. Chicken is a big deal in America. You see it everywhere from fast food, Joints to family, dinners, it's a go-to meat because it's its so versatile and healthy. Plus, it's usually pretty affordable, which is great for families trying to stick to a budget. But there's a lot that goes into getting that chicken from the farm to your plate. And sometimes things don't go as smoothly as planned. Take feed costs, for example. All chickens eat a lot of corn and soy, and when the prices of those ingredients go up, it can make raising chickens more expensive for farmers. And you know what that means? Higher prices for chicken at the grocery store. Then there are disease outbreaks to worry about. Something like bird flu can spread quickly among chickens, leading to shortages in supply. When there's less chicken available, prices go up. It's simple supply and demand. But it's not just diseases that can mess with the supply chain. All sorts of things can throw a wrench into the works, like economic downturns or environmental disasters. When the supply chain gets disrupted, it's hard to predict what will happen to chicken prices and availability. One day, you might find chicken on sale at the supermarket and the next it could be nowhere to be found. With all these uncertainties, some people are starting to look for alternatives to chicken. Maybe they'll try different meats or even go vegetarian. And some folks are turning to local farms for their chicken fix. Sure, it might cost a bit more, but knowing where your food comes from and supporting 
local farmers can be worth it, especially when the supply chain is so unpredictable. So yeah, chicken might be a staple in American diets, but it's not immune to the ups and downs of the food industry. As consumers, we might have to get creative and flexible with our meal planning, especially if chicken prices start to soar next month. Uh, six, cheese is like the superhero of the dairy world. Well, you can do just about anything from topping pizzas to filling sandwiches, cheese is everywhere in our meals, adding flavor and texture to our favorite dishes. There's so many types from sharp cheddars to creamy brie, making it a staple in cuisines all over the world. But behind the scenes, the cheese industry faces its own set of challenges. Just like with other foods, making cheese isn't always easy. It takes a lot of milk to make cheese and milk production can be affected by all sorts of things uh, like expensive feed for cows, labor shortages on farms or bad weather messing with the crops. Uh, and then there's the artisanal cheese market. These are the cheeses aid by small scale producers, often using traditional methods and high quality ingredients. But because it takes more time and resources to make artisanal cheese, it can be more vulnerable to changes in the economy. If, um, when times get tough, people might not be willing to pay extra for fancy cheese. Cheese prices can be all over the place too. They're affected by things like how much milk is available, changes in the market and regulations on dairy products. So one day uh, your favorite cheese might be super cheap and the next it could cost a lot more. As people's tastes change and they start craving different kinds of cheese, there's a risk that the demand might outpace the supply. When that happens, prices go up. It's just basic amix. And if cheese prices start soaring next month, consumers might start looking for alternatives. Uh, maybe they'll try plant-based cheeses or stick to more affordable options that they know and love. So yeah, cheese might seem like a simple pleasure, but there's a lot going on behind the scenes. And if prices shoot up next month, it might be time to get creative with our cheese choices or explore new ways to enjoy this beloved dairy product. All seven potatoes are like the ultimate comfort food in America, we eat them in so many ways. Mashed, fried, baked, you name it. They're reliable, versatile, and always there for us when we need some hearty goodness on our plates. Uh, but behind the scenes, potatoes face their fair share of challenges. Growing them isn't really easy. They need a lot of stuff, like nutrients and water to grow big and tasty. And all that stuff costs money, especially when you're talking about fertilizers and irrigation systems. Plus, Modern farming practices can really take a toll on the soil, making it harder to grow healthy potatoes year after year. And then there's the weather. Climate change is making things more unpredictable, which can spell disaster for potato farmers. If the weather goes haywire, it can lead to crop failures, which means less potatoes available for us to enjoy and higher prices when we do find them. But it's not just about growing potatoes. It's also about getting them from the farm to our plates. There's a whole supply chain involved with processing plants and distribution networks, working hard to make sure we have plenty of potato products to choose from. But uh, something is wrong, like a labor dispute or transportation issues, I it can mess with the availability of potatoes and drive up prices. With all these challenges, some people might start thinking twice about their potato habits. Maybe they'll try alternative starches like sweet potatoes or grains that are easier to grow and more sustainable. But even with these potential changes, it's hard to imagine American cuisine without potatoes. Uh, they're just too ingrained in our culture. From crispy fries at the ballpark to creamy mashed potatoes at Thanksgiving dinner. So even if prices go up next month, you can bet we'll still be reaching for those beloved spuds. Kate, uh, wheat is like the backbone of American agriculture. It's not just a crop. It's a key ingredient in so many foods. We love bread, pasta, pastries, you name it. Without wheat, our diets would be pretty bland, to be honest. Uh, but growing wheat isn't easy. They're all sorts of challenges that farmers have to deal with, like pests and diseases that can wipe out entire fields of wheat or crazy weather patterns that bring droughts one year and floods the next. Um, and then there's soy erosion and nutrient depletion, which make it harder to grow healthy wheat crops over time. Farmers have to find a balance between getting as much wheat as possible out of their fields and taking care of the land for future generations. It's a tough job trying to make sure we have enough food to eat without wrecking the environment in the process. And it's not just about what's happening here at home. The global wheat market is huge. And then what happens in other countries can have a big impact on prices and an availability here in the United States. So if there's political unrest or trade disputes somewhere else in the world, it can affect how much we pay for our bread and pasta at the grocery store. Um, 
And let's not forget about changing consumer trends. Some people are ditching wheat and gluten altogether, opting for low carb or gluten free diets. This can affect the demand for wheat and its products, which in turn can affect prices and availability. Um, but even with all these challenges, we isn't going anywhere. It's too important to our diets and our culture. Sure, we might start exploring other grains like quinoa or rice, but wheat will always have a special place in American cuisine. And who knows, uh, maybe innovations in agricultural technology will help us grow even better and more resilient wheat crops in the future. In conclusion, the impending increase in prices for these eight staple foods presents a significant challenge for households across America. From the beloved comfort of potatoes to the foundational role of wheat in our diets, each food item plays a vital role in our culinary traditions and everyday meals. However, factors such as climate change, global market dynamics, and shifting consumer preferences are driving forces behind the anticipated surge in prices. Uh, as families brace themselves for the financial strain of higher grocery bills, they may find themselves reconsidering their dietary choices and exploring alternatives to mitigate the impact. Whether it's opting for plant-based substitutes, seeking out locally sourced options, or embracing diverse grains, consumers are likely to adapt their shopping habits to navigate the changing food landscape, the resilience and adaptability of both consumers and the food industry. While the cost of these essential foods may rise, their enduring presence in American cuisine reflects their enduring importance. As we face the uncertainties of tomorrow, it is through innovation, sustainability, and a commitment to our culinary heritage that we will continue to nourish ourselves and our communities. 